the river ran red, they say. Each and every person that I speak with, what they remember is, is uh, black bodies, bloated bodies in the river. Uh, black thought was self-empowerment, independence, build community. That spirit was what was attacked in 1898. That those people were still here and still in town to this day, those businesses would be at such a high level that this huge gap between race and social economics would not exist. The language included vulgar and violent comments towards African Americans. One of the officers saying the country needed a quote, civil war to quote, wipe black people, quote, off the map. You know, it's kind of letting the, the oppressor win if we leave Wilmington. That's why we have to actually fight to make Wilmington different, because if we don't, then, then we lose this, this jewel of a place. I want Wilmington to look like a place where, where black people can thrive and black people know that they can thrive. Don't have sympathy for your community. Fix your community. Your sympathy only goes so far. That's a population of African Americans that's getting ready to emerge in the city that people are not aware of, but they're thinking different. We came together and we kept coming together and kept coming together. And people kept saying, you know, there was a leader. There, there are no leaders. It's, it's the lowercase leaders because we didn't want this leadership. We don't have titles. We are literally just community members who came together to fight and voice the community. I knew that the ones that did stick around once the smoke was cleared was going to be a new set of leaders that, that the city was going to have to deal with. I mean, Wilmington is one of the fastest growing cities in the country now. This should be the mecca for uh, black and minority entrepreneurship, especially with everything that's happened in our past. And so that's part of what drives us. The pieces are already here, it's a matter of putting them all together. How do I problem solve? How do I address a conflict? How do I address someone trying to hurt me, right? How can I earn economics in my community without actually poisoning my community or taking from other people's resources in my community? This is what we want the quarter house to be. The beauty that's here, I think it's important for black people to come back and experience that again. And I know we can thrive because we did it before. We are the future. We are the